All right, we'll go ahead and get started. Welcome, my name is Nick Foley. I am one of the customer service representatives here at CASA. And in this webinar today, we'll be walking through how to set up your three key vault with a CASA gold membership. So you see up here on the screen, I have open to support.keys.casa. Um, I also, which is our help center, has some great information. I also have uh, my phone window open and I'm just mirroring my screen for so you all can see what I'm doing here uh, on my phone as well. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the app and authenticate into the app. And you'll notice that I have a wallet here that's presented to me. It's called Bitcoin Pay. Uh, Bitcoin Pay is a wallet meant for smaller amounts of Bitcoin. It's more of an on-the-go spending wallet. We recommend keeping a few hundred bucks at most in the Bitcoin Pay wallet. What we're gonna be walking through here today in the webinar is setting up the three key vault. So if I tap vault there at the bottom, uh, this is a fresh account, I have not used it at all. So you see there's a big setup button there in the center and that is where we're going to get started connecting our keys. So the three key vault is a two of three multi-signature Bitcoin wallet. So there are three total keys that we're going to be creating that are associated with your three key vault. And any two of those keys can be used to spend your funds. The advantage of having two key signatures instead of three is that you could potentially lose one of your keys and you would still be okay. You would still be able to move your Bitcoin. Likewise, if an attacker totally compromised one of your keys, we hope that doesn't happen but it means that your Bitcoin are safe from that attacker because the attacker would need at least two key signatures to actually move the Bitcoin. So once we set up the three keys and we've deposited Bitcoin, that's when you can send out and you need to apply two key signatures from any of these three keys. So we're gonna talk a little bit about each key and then we're gonna go ahead and set it up in Casa app. So the first key that we're going to do is the mobile key. So I have this open over here in a window and the mobile key is a key that's stored on your phone, on your mobile device, and it is encrypted and backed up to your phone's cloud service. So in this instance, because I'm using an iPhone, that key is encrypted and backed up to Apple. If you were using an Android phone, then that key would be encrypted and backed up to Google. The big advantage of doing this is that if I were to lose my phone tomorrow, I could just get a new phone, uh, log into that same cloud account in the system settings of the phone like people normally do when they first set up, log into my CASA account, and CASA app will be able to find that backup from Apple in this case, and it will be able to pull that back up and make it available on your new phone, on your new device. So it makes it uh, a little bit more resilient in the sense that we don't want a, loser, a, a user to lose these keys, which is why um, we have that backup. It's incredibly resilient and duplicated across Apple servers across the world. So to connect and create that mobile key, what we're gonna do is just tap connect. And it's generating a key that's going to be stored here on the device. So it says successfully connected your mobile key. I'll say, got it. And that's all, so it did those two things. It created the key for us and it also created that backup for us. So if I were to lose my phone right now, I would still be okay. I would not be lose. I would not lose that specific key. So the next key that we're going to connect is the hardware key. So I'm going to go to our hardware key article here and support.keys.casa, and we do support a variety of hardware wallet devices from popular manufacturers. The one I'm going to be using today is a Trezor device. There's also the Ledger, which a lot of people may be familiar with. Um, we also support uh, the original Passport, as well as Cold Card, as well as Keystone. So we support a variety of devices, and most people who have used these devices previously have used them as what we call single signature wallets, where you, the, uh, the hardware device generates a key, and then you send that key to the device, right? You send it to that, you send your Bitcoin to that device, and once you send your Bitcoin to that device and you want to spend your Bitcoin, you connect this, you authenticate it, and you send it out and it's done, right? There is a single key in here. It's a single signature key. Only requires one signature to spend. Now, what we're doing with this device with CASA 
is we're leveraging the technology of the hardware device, but instead of being its own Bitcoin wallet by itself, this becomes one of multiple keys, right? It becomes part of a larger setup. So remember, there's three total keys that we're creating. One of those keys is going to be stored on the hardware device itself. That means potentially, if you were to lose the hardware device, you would still be okay because you would still be able to spend your Bitcoin because there are two additional keys remaining that you can still use to spend funds, All right? So what I'm gonna do here for the next part is I'm going to tap connect hardware key. And in this instance, I am using a Trezor. So I'm gonna select Trezor and hit continue. <clears throat> and it says, we're going to send you an email explaining how to connect this. So I'm going to get an email. And for this part, you do need a laptop or a desktop computer if you're using a Trezor. Uh, some of the other ones are different. For instance, with Passport and Keystone, you can sign using uh, QR codes and you never need to leave your CASA app device. All right, so I'm just gonna continue to send that email. All right, so I got that email. I'll get over to this window so you all can see what that email looks like. Just says connect your device. Okay. So you can click, but in this case, I'm going to copy that link address and put it in my web browser. I recommend using Chrome. Typically, uh, plays very nice with each other devices. So we're going to tap continue. And for this port, I am going to physically connect my Trezor device to my computer. Okay, I've done that. We'll hit continue. Okay, and it says we're going to sync your Trezor to CASA. All right, so I'm going to export the public key. And essentially what we're doing here is we're allowing CASA's API or CASA to read the public key from the device and make sure that uh, the device is ready to go. It's all set up and it'll be ready to go when we need to sign a Bitcoin transaction. All right, so I'm gonna enter my passcode here. And I don't have a passphrase with this wallet, so I'm just gonna click continue at that point. All right, so it says, great work. You've successfully set up your hardware key. And you'll notice that the app here automatically updated to say that you have successfully set up your hardware key. All right, so we've set up two keys total. And the last key that we're going to talk about and connect is the CASA recovery key. So you'll notice that you are taking control or sovereignty, right, over those keys uh, that you have in your key set, right? That mobile key, that hardware key, those are your responsibility in the sense that Costa is not holding or managing those keys on your behalf. That's different for the Casa recovery key. The Casa recovery key is one key in your setup where Casa does actively manage that key and have access to it. But remember, CASA can't spend funds because this is a two of three multi-sig wallet. So you need at least two key signatures to spend, uh, to spend funds. And since CASA only has access to one of the key, then it eliminates the need for you as a CASA customer to trust uh, CASA when we say that we are going to be managing these keys properly, right? Because you have control over the majority of the keys, the key quorum that you need to spend from your three key vault. So the way that we authenticate use of, CASA, of the CASA recovery key is by setting up and answering uh, when you need to use it, three security questions, which we'll do now. So I'll tap set up security uh, key and uh, recovery key and tap set up security questions. And I'm going to choose from a list uh, three security questions that I will set answers to here. And if you ever need to use the key, you are going to need to answer those questions as you wrote them here exactly. 
So these should not be um, answers that are publicly available. For instance, if I hit continue here, one of the questions is what year did you first acquire cryptocurrency? If you made a tweet in 2017 saying, I just bought my first Bitcoin, then that's probably not a great uh, answer to choose, obviously. So this is a burner account here. I am not going to be putting in real answers here. Uh, I am going to select these just to walk through to show you all what it looks like when I set up these keys. All right, and it says all questions saved and I'll need to re-answer these whenever I use the CASA recovery key. All right, so it says you've connected all of your keys. So back here, it gives me a little confetti to indicate that it's party time and I'm ready to deposit Bitcoin to my three key vault. And the way that I do that is that I would tap the three key vault and down at the bottom, it shows a deposit funds button. So if I tap that deposit funds button, it shows me a Bitcoin address along with a QR code. Now I can send to this address from any other Bitcoin wallet or exchange or other service where you can send Bitcoin directly to another address. And it goes, it gets recorded in the blockchain and gets sent here. And once you have funds deposited, then you will have the option to send out that cryptocurrency as well. And I can go back to the main screen here and I'm all completed with the setup of my three key vault. And if you have any questions about this webinar today, you can reach out to us, help at team.casa. Again, I'm Nick, one of your friendly CASA customer advisors, and we are happy to help or assist with anything you need related to your setup. Thanks so much for attending our webinar and have a wonderful day.